That wristwatch was perhaps the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Funny how something like being able to track the passage of time changes things. Getting myself to follow a more regular sleep schedule did wonders for keeping me organized and on track. I started making a list of things I wanted to get done. Priority number one, find my cousin. Right, and we return shortly before dawn with our good friend John Morgan. Welcome back, everyone. We are, as always, gaming by gaslight, playing a little bit of Project Zomboid. When we last left off, we survived our less than exciting, well, less than great, really, uh, trip into Muldrow. We've got a pen. You know what? Let's, uh... No, I left our papers upstairs. John, he's seen no sign that anyone has been here since he left, which disappoints him. Just to know that his cousin may not have survived. Where did I put, uh, or you know what? Did I ever actually sort our bookshelf? Yeah, we've got an, yeah, we've got a sheet of paper. So we'll grab one sheet of paper and we will, shall write a little bit or can I write? I'm pretty sure you can write on. Let's see. Uh, ah, there we go. Write on note. So, let's see. Gone into Muldrow. Uh, meet back here. John. All right. So, uh, yeah, John just, uh, puts this here in the drawer, hoping that maybe his cousin will see it. Actually, also occurs to me, let's, uh, yeah, put everything, everything in here, just to start off with. And is there anything I want to take out? A couple of things, probably. Um, let's see. Yeah, here's some 9mm rounds. We'll take those. This is all stuff we can probably sort later. We'll take the carrots for a little meal. And, yeah, the rest is okay for the moment. Yeah, we'll open the canned carrots. But, you know what? I'll keep the can opener there because we're probably going to have to use it a couple of times. Uh, what else do I want to take? Uh, let's, we'll take the canned corn as well. Not the most exciting meals, but it's something. And let's see, looking over this, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. We'll, uh, put the book in the bookshelf. Strawberries can go in the strawberry, or in the seed drawer. Sweater can go upstairs, lug wrench, tools, yeah, those can all stay where they're at. Uh, bandages and painkillers, though, we'll stick these in here, because what are the odds that anything bad is going to happen? Or, you know, at least that's what John tries to tell himself. A little bit of uh, reassurance that things will be okay, though perhaps he is slowly waking up to the reality of the world, you know, given that he is at least taking the precaution of keeping a gun on hand, just in case. Though, he has not yet figured out that it might be wise to start boarding up the windows. There's a... Again, he has... There's a certain sense of naivety about our, our dear hero here. Maybe I should put these extra water bottles away as well. 
Because to date, we haven't really needed more than one on hand. And yeah, this sweater. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna stick it in the seed drawer because I don't want to spend too much time. It's already seven o'clock. I don't want to spend all day sorting stuff. That can be a matter for another time. So let's drive back into Muldrow. I mean, it, it's honestly the only place that John knows to go. Knox County is more than just Muldrow, of course as the maps of West Point and Riverside and March Ridge indicate, but John doesn't know where any of those places are. I mean, he barely even knows where Muldrow is. He's There's even a part of him that's kind of wondering if the town he's been in so far is actually Muldrow. He's mildly concerned that zombies are making their way up the road, but it's a small thing. And don't sweat the small stuff. All right. Well, I think I'll catch up with you when we actually get somewhere, so I'll see you shortly. Alright, so we're back. And... I guess... The, uh, the first place John thinks to go is to just pull into the gas station here. Corpses still riddle the streets. But there's not as many of them moving around as there were before, is there? First order of business might be to check our, uh, how many empty gas cans we have on us. Actually, all these gas cans are not fully full. Alright, so there's a couple of Zeds hanging around the gas station. But John's still fresh. This is early in the morning. You gotta wake up a little bit earlier than that in order to catch him off guard. We are actually starting to get hungry though, so that's potentially a thing to be concerned with. Alright, so we're gonna fill up all our gas cans, make sure they are topped off completely. Could be mildly problematic for our back, but you know, got to start somewhere. All right, there we go. And there we are. Kind of wondering if I can just like directly uh, fill our gas tank here without needing to go through the rigmarole of, you know, filling all this. Is that a thing? Can I do that? I just like, hey, come on over. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Fill her up. Oh, wait, never mind. We just grabbed a gas can. Or, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it gets, uh... It effectively does the same thing. Maybe there is a way to, uh, without needing to explicitly grab anything. But, uh, I don't know what that way is, so... Yeah, just gonna have to... Deal with it. At least for now. Alright, so... Yeah, actually, maybe, uh... Now let's just eat the- finish the whole can off. Now we're just peckish. Because we're not complete slobs, we'll, uh... Go ahead and, uh, yeah, just chuck that in there. Have a quick look. You know what, actually, we'll have the soda. Because it also doubles by giving us an empty soda bottle, which we can then fill with water later. You gotta think smart about these things. And while I would not say I am the smartest man in the land, I am hopefully not the dumbest. But, you know, your mileage may, may vary on that. A lot of gas, that's helpful. I probably don't even need to keep all of it in a car with us. 
Ooh, this is actually really good. And I think we've already got a jack. So maybe I should grab the jack anyway, just to be safe. Newspaper. Couple of newspapers, some magazines. And just for uh, a bit of pleasant reading material while we're... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab the jack just to be safe. Just in case. I don't actually recall what a jack is used for, but I know, like, in, in the context of this game that... Oh, we do have a jack. Alright, I'm just gonna chuck that on the floor then. And we will, uh... Grab all of these things, and we'll just make sure that it's all full. Okay, I also went ahead and kind of looted the place, and I sort of gathered all the planks in one spot. I don't think we'll bother taking the planks now, but it could be useful later. Alright, so we are in Muldrow now. It seems relatively quiet. Probably still shouldn't be running like I am. But, uh, you know, these are the risks we have to take, I guess. And I forget whether I ever got around to investigating these cars here. In case I didn't, which it does in fact seem to be the case. Alright, we got some clothes, we got some various interesting things, we got some more beta blockers that could be handy in dealing with our issues, which we have many. This actually has, um, yeah, it's got, all right, we got the key to this car. That's useful, because I believe for some, some engine-related things, we need access to the, like, we need to be able to actually unlock the car, so that's handy, and we've got a diner here. Should be able to get some food. I don't remember killing this one. So I assume that's someone that... Oh, it's the pause pinball game. Nice. Or dead people. I see a lot of dead people. Alright, looks like uh, this place was already .308 ammo. Okay, that's... Honestly, John doesn't even know what uses a .308, but he figures might as well. Might as well grab this stuff. Because you never know. And if you don't know, well... Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, I'm also carrying an every gas can with us, apparently. Not quite enough room in that trunk. I'm just gonna chuck it in here. Because, yeah. Where did all- where did all the zombies go? Uh, hello? Hmm. Ah, someone got stuck in the bathroom. Well, I'll just help you out there, miss. Alright. That's why you leave the stall open. Okay, nothing exciting in the trash. Okay, but this is our chance, possibly. Possibly, maybe. God, I wish I had a map so I knew exactly where we were. But I'm pretty sure, actually, I, no, this is definitely Muldrow, because when we were coming back the other day, there was that sign that said Muldrow was nearby, so this is presumably, in fact, Muldrow. So I should stop. It's an established fact that this is where we are, so I should stop, uh, troubling myself over these things. Shame to get blood all over this nice, uh, carpet, but, you know. Them's the brakes. Yeah, I ought to remove some of this broken glass. Okay, there's, uh... Yeah, come, come on in. 
Come on in. Okay, that's a lot of Zeds. That's a lot of Zeds. Alright. If I can control them coming out through here, I might be able to squish them. Yeah. Come on. Okay, apparently... Even though in real life, I feel like that would have worked. It did not work in this case. Okay, some of them are runners. So, what we want to do is get the ones that are capable of running fast out of our way. Or to, you know, come after us. Maybe break some pursuit off in the trees, if we can. Alright, but if, I mean, I guess we're sort of clearing the town off. A little bit. It get... Not sure if I was even hitting anyone there. Get back. Get back, get back. You savages! You cannibals! Is, you know, technically a true statement. They are indeed cannibals. Alright, too many of them are capable of running really fast. This concerns me. Alright, maybe if we sneak around the back. I mean, honestly, if I don't have to fight them, maybe I won't. But, uh, you know, it does not hurt. And you just know I like to check. Yeah, they're they're busy over there now. There is some banging going on in here, though. Yeah. He got left out. Okay, we got yeast. Definitely want some of that. A kettle. We need that to finally make ourselves some coffee. Dog food. Some canned chili. Bowl, so we can make some uh, some chili here. Is that a thing I can do? Open the canned chili. Mix into uh, where's my canned chili? Actually, I want to heat that up first. Might make it a little more tasty. While we're waiting, we will just uh, grab a few more uh, bits of food. Okay, as far as I can tell, that may have worked. It's hot. That might be what matters at this point. You know what? We'll have another uh, taste. Okay, maybe a bit more. Alright, and that kind of finishes the job. Alright, yeah. I want to grab as much food as possible. It'd actually not be a bad idea to have a few more cooking pots. Cleaning liquid, definitely useful. And I guess this bowl wasn't quite as... You know what, I'll, I'll keep the bowls. For now. I forget how many bowls I actually have. I thought I saw sugar in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, okay, that's apparently full. Kitchen knives, also useful. Cereal, canned bean. Alright, we're going to be coming home with uh, a, a veritable treasure trove of food and other useful things. I'll actually cook up that burger now. Oh. Ooh, some Chardonnay. Water. Again, doesn't hurt. Okay, dish towel. Use to dry self. That's okay. We've already got a couple of towels at home. I mean, it probably doesn't hurt to have more towels, but let's uh, not worry too much. I don't really like tea that much myself in real life. I didn't like coffee for a really long time either. An acquired taste, honestly. Like many things in life, there are many acquired tastes. Alright. Now, it seems like we never stay satisfied for long, which saddens me just a bit. But, that's life. Ah, yes. More adhesive tape. Electric wire. Does, that doesn't feel useful right now. It might be useful later, so we can always go loot this stuff again. But I don't want to weigh ourselves down when we don't 
expressly have to. And you know, that's probably just a bathroom where we're just going to end up uh, running into some trouble. So back outside we go. Investigate. Oh, there's a news vehicle right there. There's a lot of Zeds there. It also occurs to me throughout this entire episode, my phone has been going off repeatedly. I should probably make a note of that, which I guess I am now by expressly saying it now, so that ideally at some point, I uh, might, uh, you know, go see who is uh, messaging me. It could be important. Or it might not be. I don't, I could not tell you. Yeah, you know what? If these guys are coming after me, I will gladly give them what for. I mean, so far it also, it seems like all TV is down. The last we heard was that quarantine had failed, which is frankly disturbing. Aha! A Muldrow map. My goodness. You know, I'm not going to respond, but I need to see what's going on here. Okay. Trailer park. Uh, church, police station, I mean, gas station, diner, and something else. Let, let's see if this uh, lines up. Oh yeah, there was this place and that place. All right, I think this lines up. So we are definitely in Muldrow. Yeah, main road here. So, can I... I can add notes, but I don't have a pen on me. I'm pretty sure I left my pen back. Yeah, in the house. That was... Probably should have kept that with me, because then I could be noting this map. The diner and, you know, so on and so forth. A lot of Zeds there. Anyway, let's uh, just look at this map one more time. Alright, so let's see here. So yeah, housing, housing. Um, Let's see. Where is Dear Cousin's house? It was somewhere by the church. So, let's make our way towards the church. Try to avoid the swarms of the undead. Best we can. Though it, it's nice they're all clustering together. Kind of makes my life slightly easier. We're not going to run. That's just going to cause trouble. And they are shuffling off. Good for them. Eight more Zeds over here. Ooh. Light footed. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna level that up right now. Just because. I assume Again, I, I kinda wish uh like if you hovered over these, you got a little tooltip that explained what it was. Oh, I think I've been spotted. Because I don't ex- I kind of have to guess. I'm- I think I could look it up on the wiki to find out exactly what each skill does. Alright, let's just boop these guys over and squish their heads. There we go. See his pie? Yeah. Lightfooted sounds like, I don't know, the quieter we walk, and that that's the police station right there. Yep, there's the police station. There's there's a lot of zombies around here. And I'm kind of debating whether it's in our interest to just fight them. Also a building of some sort over here. Hmm. Well, honestly, if we can just keep picking them off one by one, that benefits me. Also, what is this? We're under a fairly heavy load. Not a light load, but a fairly heavy load. How long has that been a thing, and why was I not paying attention to it sooner? Come on, get, get knocked over. Yeah, the more we carry, the, uh, the more... But we're just 0.5 over. Surely it's not that bad. Maybe if I just chuck my... Bo oh, God! can never stop paying attention in this game, not even for a second. They just keep coming. Get back, get back! And we're, we're actually exhausted now. That's less good. 
Okay, there goes never one. Got a never mole drow map. Like now that I don't expressly need these maps, we're getting all of the maps. That uh, it's like every one of these people has a map all of a sudden. Maybe they were these were all people who got caught up in the evacuation. I mean, I'm I'm assuming there was some kind of attempt at an evacuation of all non-infected individuals once it became clear to somebody what was going on here. But uh, there we go. All right, our load is back under control. Oh, there's a pencil. There we go. So uh do a quick little uh spin around here. Then while standing over these corpses, we will go ahead and read our map. And I just want to add a note. Okay, not not here yet. Add a symbol. Uh let's see here. We'll put an X. Add a note right here, and we will say uh gas station. The little details, man. Add another symbol over here. And add a note next to it. Add a note, please. Thank you. And this will be diner. Dinner diner. No, diner is one N. There we go. All right. Just to help me with orienting myself. Oh, this has actually not been so bad so far. Oh, we are hungry, though. Might have to eat some of that canned corn. Which, in real life, I cannot stand, but that's just me. Then again, I don't like... M well, actually, I was about to say I don't like most things that come from a can, but that's just not true. There are many can-based foods that I enjoy. Okay, nothing of great use or interest here. Uh, and I'm gonna put the vitamins away. I do hear a a zombie coming up. I I dropped the water bottle on the zombie rather than in one of my bags. Good, good, good work. Because as everyone knows, if there's one thing zombies need, it's it's better hydration. All right, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I'll just have some chips. Take care of that hunger right there. There we go. That worked out. And we've, honestly, we've done a not terrible job clearing at least this part of town. Is the vehicle open? It is. Does it have, it has gas, or... It has its, uh... Let's see. It has no gas, but we have a key for it now, so that means we can do stuff to it later. Which is not bad. It's also getting late. So it might be in our interest to uh, attempt... I was going to say it'd be really nice if uh, keys were in the ignition there. But they're not, and there's not even a gun. Okay. Oh dear. I think we want to start finding a place to uh, turn in safely for the night. And this does not seem like that place. But, we also have not been noticed. I think. I think we weren't noticed there. So, with that in mind... Oh, please tell me there's not a lot of them. It's just the one guy. Alright. Nope, there's more people trying to come in. Alright, but I think that's it. Okay. Let's open the door. Hello. Okay, it's just, it's just a couple of, couple of nice young ladies off selling some cookies or something, I don't know. 
Come on. Do a quick uh, body inspection. We've already got a Riverside map, I believe. Pretty sure that's a true statement. Okay, these doors are locked. Okay, we know there's like two free Zeds in here. Four, possibly. Four Zeds. Get back, get back, come on. Fall on the ground, fall on the ground. Let me smash some heads here. Get back, get back. Come on. Ah, oh boy. I feel like this could be a mistake, but then again, it's a controlled situation. We know that they can't come from behind us, at least not right now. Okay, there goes one. That makes life easier. There we go. Couple of knocks to the head. And it's... Yeah, once... If we can clear this, uh... This police station, it might not be a bad place to stay for the night. Alright, come on in. And stop banging. Quit your banging. Alright, let's uh, close this door. Because it provides a little bit of uh, added security. Alright. And the one who's... Okay, there's actually several of them banging on that door now. Might not be the best time to be doing this, but uh, if not now, then when? You know what? I'll let them uh, go about their business over there. An annotated map of some sort. I'll take that for future uh, investigation. That could be the keys to this building right here. And it is. Okay, there's people trying to get in again. Watch like a hundred zombies swarm in. You know, I should actually figure out how many zombies are out here. Not many. But it is possible more could decide to show up. Alright. So all told, we're actually... Alright. Okay, that's... That's a plus. A box of 9mm bullets and a box of shotgun shells. Alright. Once more... Ooh, and a hunting knife. 308 bullets, .22 free bullets. Pistol has nothing special about it. Okay, we are actually getting close to our capacity. So maybe I should focus on just taking bullets for that work with guns we've got. We do actually have a pistol on us somewhere, don't we? Feel like the answer to that is yes. Well, we have the shotgun for sure. Though, of course, uh, guns are a bit of a double-edged sword, I have to imagine, on account of, um, you know, it being possible that, uh, you know, you can, could, uh, shoot as, then again, is it really a smart idea to barricade myself in here when there is every possibility Let's take care of these things, uh... What if I just leveled up? My sneaking? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna... I'll take it. Okay, they've... They've... They're getting in. But yeah, if we can stop these guys banging at my door, then we can sleep in the police station tonight. And hopefully find our cousin tomorrow. At least that is the dream, anyway. It's what John's hopeful for. Oh god, I just walked through that. I am so lucky I did not cut myself up on all that glass. That was really dumb. And also entirely uh, accidental. I meant to open... You know what? Just to make sure that doesn't happen again, let's uh, move the glass. Alright. And here as well. Because I don't really, now that I think about it, I don't have any, uh, like, first aid stuff on hand if things were to go bad. Actually, can I take this with me? 
Oh, I totally can. The administrative flag. I mean, I guess we can also take the old stars and stripes. Why not? Actually, you know what? Let's also, uh, place these things. We'll come back for them later. I have, I have some interest in, you know, having the more, uh, decorative material. Alright, please don't be too many. But yeah, the, I, I kind of wonder, do you think, um, the, the presence of dead bodies draws more zombies to the area? Okay, and let's, uh, turn off that light. Oh, dear. All right, and with that, I I feel that probably going to be unlikely we'll be able to... Nope. <laughs> okay, how many actually came in, though? I, I don't feel like... Oh god, yeah, that's just gonna draw all the zombies. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I really wanted to make that work, but... Sometimes life just doesn't go your way, does it? Oh, hello there, Mr. Horde, and other Horde, and still other Hordes. Oh, dear. Out, 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 out. Oh, how many are in the trees right now? Just waiting to take a bite out of me. Too many. Maybe I should just go back to the truck and sleep in the truck. Yeah, that kind of feels like the, uh, the smart play. You know, it almost does seem like the zombies are attracted to dead bodies, doesn't it? I should look that up, see if that's actually a thing. Or if that's just, uh, all in my head. Alright, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sneak around this whole time. I wonder what Nimble does exactly. I mean, whatever it is that with these various agility stats, we're obviously doing something that's leveling them up, but I don't know precisely what each thing is. Man, I didn't realize we had actually, like, traveled so far in. Not bad. Not bad. But also, you know, not necessarily great either as we... I don't like the idea of running. I think the rain will help us in that regard. But man, these zombies are really sensitive to sound and sight, apparently. <laughs> 